All right, what's up guys? Uh, today I just want to do a quick little video on my cloning process, uh, how I clone over uh, different types of fixtures, I guess, when it's just going to be a really simple cloning thing and how I have my clone page set up. So I'll get right into it. Uh, over here, I have a couple different groups uh, and then macros and layouts. Uh, I like to have my layout be right here especially because the main thing I'll clone over or worry about cloning over is colors and uh, that's usually just kind of where I start. Uh, I really enjoy uh, all presets so usually I'll build all presets for a lot of my stuff in a show and just adjust from there uh, because I'll usually just name an all preset corresponding to whatever uh, whatever queue I'm on and go from there. So we'll start off with that. Usually I will have some base colors and positions to choose from to build my all presets, but uh, this is just kind of a basic thing, so I'll just go from there. Uh, so to start, I'll just go on my clone page, and over here I usually put my cloning from on the left side and put some groups to clone to on the right. And so I have these two groups right here that I built this macro off of. Uh, it clones group. 739 at group 740 if preset whatever preset uh here i just use the like i just do everything but sometimes i will use these other ones which i just break down from this macro so my all presets is just the all and then dimmer all that kind of stuff so i'll just kind of worry about those today uh and start with or not worry about those as much today and i'll just do clone all uh, you have to be really careful with these. Usually I do try to lock them, uh, especially if I have like somebody else coming and using the show file. But for this instance, that's not really an issue. I'm just kind of at home. So uh, usually I'll have my worlds. Oh, I'm editing. Whoops. Okay. Let's update. Oops it real quick. Um, so yeah, I'll have my worlds right here. So, uh, if I'm cloning, I'll usually have this set up and then I'll have the, whatever I'm cloning to. So like if I have my profiles and I'm going into a house with like more profiles or some spots or something that I want to clone to, I'll add those into this world and I'll do my cloning from there. Sometimes I'll have my, uh, once I'm cloning from up here, and then I'll put my worlds I'm cloning to down here. But today that's not the instance. Uh, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I have these profiles that I have uh, some presets already built to. And I'll be using my show, or my stage view more so for this. So I have intensity at full at red. Same thing but green. Same thing but blue. And then I have white, but with a position. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I am going to show how I would clone that to the auras. Uh, because if we take a look at auras, uh, we don't have that information. See these guys, they're not doing anything. Oh. And then we go over to our layout. You don't see them doing anything. Cool. So here's how I would go about that. So we have those working correctly. So I will record or I will store these over in my clone from group. And then I will put the washes in my clone to group. And I will just, let's say I just want to take only all presets, which is what's going on right now. I'll just hit that macro and I'll clone all the all presets. So we go back over to our song loan page and we hit the auras and you see that they're intensity at full on red, intensity at full on green, intensity at full on blue, and we have the position. And the position actually looks pretty pretty correct. So that position is supposed to be all the top fixtures are supposed to be uh, spinning inward 
and then the bottom fixture is fanning out. And so if we do, oh, here, we'll go over here and we'll do that again, but we'll go down here and we'll turn these two at zero, please. So those are all fanning outward. Yep, that looks correct. Uh, they are kind of in a weird alignment, but you can see that they are out. And then, so let's do these guys at zero, please. And then these guys at it. And those are going inward. So yeah, uh, that cloned over pretty well. Uh, sometimes it's hard to not have to make some adjustments, but uh, right here, we don't have to make any adjustments. So let's try the same thing, but with our beams. Uh, sometimes beams like this can be a little tougher uh, because they don't have color mixing. Uh, their color mixing is on the wheel. So uh, sometimes stuff won't clone over as well. So when we do, when we replace our groups for cloning, we have to overwrite. If you don't overwrite, then you are going to be re-cloning over other fixtures, and that can seriously mess up a show file. So don't do that. So now that we have the profiles in our clone from, and just to confirm that, we will restore and overwrite. Triple clear out, and we will, oh my god, there we go. And let's clone all presets again. So now we have beams shows up green. So red 100 works. Green 100 works. Blue 100 works. And white 100 with the position works. And let's check and make sure that the uh, position looks correct. We'll go over here and we'll take the tops out. Go. I guess I could have made a macro for making this video for that. So the bottoms are spread. Yep. And the tops are Oh, they actually got them all. No, it didn't. Damn it. Tops are going inward. Cool. So everything worked. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the more simple side of cloning. And also kind of details why I like to use all presets. Because they do clone over pretty well. Uh, as long as you are cloning from and to fixtures that are fairly similar. Uh, a lot of the time with it, when you get to gobos, those don't clone over very well. So if you are doing gobo stuff, then you will have to do some adjustments, especially with uh, rotations and stuff. So that can be a little more tricky. That's another reason I like to use all presets, because I can just adjust and then merge into that all preset and not lose the values with the previous uh, previous stuff that I had programmed. So uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, just let me know in the comments, and I'd be more than happy to answer and maybe even put up another video. But uh, I hope that helped, and I hope that simplifies some things with cloning. And I will also put an XML file with that macro in the uh, description, as well as another video where I got a lot of that information from, uh, from Cat West Console Trainer. So, uh, yeah, again, if you like this video, then uh, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, whatever, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.